forecast has been pretty crazy with uh, what we thought initially and now what we're thinking, right? Yeah, you know what? As the hours tick by, the storm is looking less and less impressive, at least in my opinion, in terms of how things are probably going to play out on Sunday for us. So let me walk you through here what's happening. Here's kind of what you need to know, and then I'll discuss some specifics. Right now, it looks like the snow is going to arrive sometime Sunday morning. Initially, it looked like it would be before the sun came up. I don't think that's necessarily going to be the case. Now there will still be some rain that mixes in to the south and yes, it all ends tomorrow. Uh, excuse me on Sunday evening, somewhere between about six and eight for the majority of the area. Now you may have noticed I've even chopped off another inch. I think for the most part, we're talking about a widespread one to two inch snowfall. Could someone squeeze out an extra inch? Eh, maybe, but I'm thinking on the lower end of that one to three we had earlier, probably an inch to two. And for the most part, I think our roads are simply going to be wet around here and maybe uh, some slushy roads probably late at night as temperatures drop back below freezing, but the snow will have ended by then. So the bitter cold that follows will also be a big story. All right, let me walk you through future cast here because two things to watch one, the snowfall and the second thing, the temperatures. Here's four o'clock Sunday morning. If you were joining us at five and six, we had snow moving in at by 4 a.m. So this would have been before the sun ever came up. That's no longer the case. There may be some snow to our south, but around here, even at eight, it's still not snowing yet. Temperatures are below freezing, though, but watch what happens. By the time the snow arrives, maybe mid morning, temperatures have risen basically into the mid 30s. So we're talking about probably three or four degrees, maybe five degrees above freezing. Second thing to point out, it looks like it's going to be more of an intermittent snow than a steady solid snow. That means there will be time in between the waves of snow for snow to melt, so it's going to struggle to accumulate. Not to mention, again, we're in the mid 30s in the middle of the afternoon. Now, maybe as we get into late Sunday afternoon, temperatures may begin to slip some with a steadier period of snow, and this is probably when the snow will be the most impactful in terms of overall accumulation across the area. But we are now into March, so that sun angle is about as high as it is in October, and even though you may not see it, you're still getting some insulation through the clouds. That means that road surfaces primarily going to be wet. Now, as temperatures drop, look what happens. The snow begins to end very quickly, and we finally don't drop really below freezing until after the snow has ended. So with all of that said, while it will snow on Sunday, I don't think we're looking at significant accumulations across the area. So that's why I say the storm is looking a little more less and less impressive as time has gone by. All right, before then, it's quiet. We've got some clouds out there tonight that has kept temperatures from falling too much around the area. We've only dropped about a degree or two since five and six. Most of us are in the upper 30s at the moment, and it will be a slow fall through the 30s tonight with the clouds in place. We'll probably get down close to freezing by morning. All right, back downtown here on this Friday night, 38 degrees at the airport. Not much wind, so we don't really have much of a wind chill out there. Here's the Arctic air that's going to team up with that system coming out of the Pacific to give us the shot of snow as we head into Sunday. So mostly cloudy tonight, chilly near freezing for an overnight low. And then for tomorrow, mostly cloudy and cool. Look for a high in the mid 40s, a decent day for March. Here's a look at your day planner 35 at 8 AM and then we'll climb into the mid 40s during the afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. All right, we'll have the whole weather team here on Sunday, obviously just to keep an eye on that weather system. But one thing's for sure. Whether or not we get significant accumulations, it is going to turn very cold for early March, so I hope you haven't put away the winter jackets just yet. Overnight lows likely in the single digits with wind chills probably around zero, maybe even below Monday night into Tuesday. Cherie wears the winter jacket in the newsroom, so she has not put that away. <laughs>